everyone and welcome back to the channel it's amy here hope you are all well it's the weekend Woo! i'm so excited for the weekend I'm going to see inside out 2 with my daughter so yes excited about that anyway this is my completed pages for september sorry my cat's just decided to have a bit of an inspection of the tripod not quite sure what he's doing but i may have to interrupt the video to let him out but Favourite video of the month, completed pages for September. Can't believe September is over with already. It just whizzed by so quickly. Anyway, let's have a quick look at stats. So I did 13 pages, although I haven't got the 13th listed here. I did three videos, which is good for me. I've had a bit of a flourish of videos. I completed eight hashtags. Well, I ended up with 2,077 subscribers, so that's an increase of 37. So hello and welcome to everyone who has pushed the subscribe button this month. Thank you so much for subscribing, enjoying the channel, I hope. Um, and um, yeah, drop comments. I love speaking to new subscribers, love speaking to current subscribers, new ones, old ones, don't care. Love the comments, love interacting with you guys, so keep it up. Um, yeah, so that's it. Let's get on with the completed pages. Oh, I've closed the book. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so my first page this month is from this beautiful book, Nonotherapy by Diane DeFore. I am loving these books so much at the moment. Um, so I did a bear in the moon. That's what I did. Um, I can't find the page though at the moment, so I'm just going to have a quick flick. I need to get better at doing this and mark my pages. Um, I did that for my colouring plans video. There it is, but not so much for my completed. And this is my lovely page. I really enjoyed doing this at the start of the month. So this is coloured with brute funa squares, which I really like using in these books. They're really soft and creamy. Um, a uniball signo which i went over all the lines in the moon in a gold which i think camera is picking up to give it a bit of a shiny glimmer um then i used gelatos for the background and that was in like nebula and i can't remember what the black one is called mars maybe uh, then i used a white posca pen to go over all of the stars in white and then i added some of my own confetti stars. So that's these glimmery ones. Ooh, that one's not as sticky as it should be. Um, and I use the quickie glue pen to stick them on. So yeah, they kind of glimmer a little bit more than the normal white stars. But I really enjoyed that. I love the contrast of the yellow with the dark sky. And the bear's so cute. Um, so yeah, that was my first one in, no, that's my second page in this book. Um, don't know if I'll get to it in in October because I've got some I want to do in balls of fluff. Um, so that was my first page for September. No, no, therapy by Diane DeFore. Then oh, my next page in September was in this gorgeous book by Morgan O'Brien, a Magic Mouse, a rainy day colouring book. And I think this is my first page in this book. I think it is. So this went for Lavella's colouring, colour your hoard, September. So I did this beautiful page, loved it, had so much fun, love my colour choices in this. So this is coloured with Arte's Everblend alcohol markers as a base. Then I did the shading with Arte's Expert pencils. Then I used some Jelly Roll glaze pen and that's on the, the, like, the sleeves and the dots in her raincoat. And I used some glossy accents just underneath her foot. It had like a little line as if to say the, the rain had kind of gathered on the branch. So I thought, yep, yeah, I'll put some glossy accent in there. And then I think I must have also used a silver gel pen because I used that for some of the rain in the background. But uh, I had a lot of fun. I love like, I just love the colour choices, the green and yellow and then the, the purple berries. Just love that as a colour combo. So yeah, that was my first page in a rainy day colouring book by Morgan O'Brien. Then my third page for the month was in Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. So if you watch my mid-year free cut tag, I said I wanted to complete this page. Unfortunately, I've only done one page in here this month, 
but I have plans to do more next month so it's all good um, and I did one with a potion um, and I wanted it to be kind of steampunky so let me know if I achieved that so it's this one um, so this was coloured with Arteza Everblend alcohol markers Arteza expert pencils a uniball signal in gold so that's for this little cog here up there the bits in the hat the bits on her chest and i used a bit in her eyelashes as well um and posca um and there must be some i think there's some uniball sparkle silver in the potion as well and some in the rain in the background um so i, I like it the alcohol markers were a bit streaky for some reason uh, but I loved the gold and the orange and the purple together. The green, the gold and the purple together. And it's the first time I've really played with doing black hair as well. So, yeah, I like it. I like the colour of her eyes and her lips. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of a different vibe for me for a page. But I like it. So that needs to go back in my pile for this month. Then one of my favourite pages for the month was from Johanna Basford's Rooms of Wanderer. And I'm calling this the Pink Room. I had kind of no vision when I started this page of what I wanted it to look like, but I just knew I wanted my trees to be pink and not green. Um, and that kind of set it off really. And I've taken these vines to mean it's a wallpaper. Um, so I kind of added a bit of pink shading around the vines and it kind of just went from there really. Um, in terms of the colour scheme. I kept it kind of very, it's quite neutral really for me. <laughs> and I, do, I think there's a lot of that this month where I, I kind of kept a limited palette. Um, I went around the trees with the Pentel Dual Hybrid. Um, so what else did I use? So I based the trees in and this in ink tents. Then I used Polychromos for shading. Then there's Posca Pen. Some uh, Sakura J. Roll Glaze, that's on the door, on the window frame, the alarm clock, and there's some Pentel Dual Hybrid. But I really like the way this turned out, and I just called it my pink room, and I just didn't want to put anything else in this background. I just felt it didn't need it. And I just, I like the bed as well, and the bedding. Um, it was just really, really fun page to do, um, and I took my time with it, which was also really nice. So yeah, that was Johanna Basford, Rooms of Wonder, and she's one of my featured artists for 2024. Then another one of my featured artists for 2024 is Kirby. I'm just trying to get better at doing Kirby. I find it so, I find it overwhelming. When I get into it, it's fine, but it's the initial looking at a picture and going, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, so I did the Flamingo page this month. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, I really like this part. I like the flamingos, but I made the wrong colour choice with the sky. That is all I will say. I absolutely love the way this bit, this bit on the bottom turned out. Um, not so keen on the top half. But, you know, you live and learn. So I based it all with Crayola Super Tips to start with, which I like to do in these books. Then I use Black Widow pencils to do the shading. Um, I actually use Graphitint on the buildings on the bottom which worked really really well and that's for the roofs and the and the, the, the stonework itself um then i use some posca to put some lines in the water and some pentel dual hybrid and i also use some uh, confetti stars i don't know why i put stars in a sunset sky but hey ho um yeah so half and half about this one not my favorite love this part of the bottom um but not so keen on the top so yeah, that was from Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Roselle. Then my first body colour for September, and this is with at Country NCC. So I think it's Misty um, on Instagram. And she reached out, I think after seeing my uh, rainy day colouring book page um, on Instagram and asked to do two buddies. This is the first one. And this one is from the awesome colouring book. Uh, we went for the nest in this one. This one. Really cute page. I wanted an autumnal vibe. 
Um, so Arteza Everblend, Alcohol Markers, Arteza Expert and Posca. No sparkly bits on this page for me. Um, but I just wanted an autumnal vibe with red and oranges. Oranges and yellow leaves. I just thought the little chicks were super cute. And I went for a green hat because that I didn't have much green. So yeah, I like the way it turned out. I wonder if I should have done the nest a little bit darker so it didn't blend in with Matchstick Mouse. But overall I like it as a page. And I will insert Misty's here. I really like the kind of muted tone of hers. Um, it's quite unusual and I, I thought it was clever. Um, so yeah, that was the first one. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed that buddy colour. Then the second buddy colour we did was in the Halloween colouring book. And we did the wizard page. And I love this page. Love it, love it, love it. Um, had fun with this one. Again, this was a buddy colour with Misty at Country NCC on Instagram. So mine is coloured with Arteza Everblend Alcohol Markers and Arteza Expert Pencils. Um, then I wanted some metallic watercolour and that is on like the costume and the sleeves, in the lining. And then all the little bits in the background, like the strikes of lightning and things, they're all uh, metallic watercolour. The stars are Pentel Dual Hybrid. Um... And then the circle is actually oil pastel with a cosmic shimmer lunar paste over the top. And I've done that before in this book and I really liked it. I did it here too. Um, so I might carry on doing that in this book. Um, but that was really, really fun. I really enjoyed that. I liked cracking out some different supplies to you. So thank you very much, Miss D, for doing those two buddy colours with me. This is her page. And again, I really like the colour choices that she's made. So thank you very much for those wonderful buddy colours. Then, I always like to do a Rita Berman um, a month. I miss it if I don't do a Rita Berman. Um, so this is from Mine Herbs Batsia Gang, the autumn book. And I did the mouse page. This one. I did this page. And again, I went for a very autumnal vibe. Um, oranges, yellows and reds and then I found I had this amazing washi tape which I thought just summed it up to a tea because I didn't really want to do like take much away from this mice the mice really um, so I used Arteza Expert pencils which are my favourites in this book some Chromatec glitter gel pens and that's kind of on the mice which I don't really know if you can see uh, Pentel Dual Hybrid, that's on the butterfly. Um, Uniball Signo. And some washi tape. Yeah, I really liked that one as well. I had fun doing that one and I enjoyed picking up the washi tape to go around the outside. So that was from Rita Berman's Autumn Colouring Book. Then Eerie, another one of my featured artists for 2024. I did the, This is the first book. And I picked, it was the Wishing Well page, this page, and I love this page. I absolutely love it. So in area, I like to base things with ink tents. So the trees are ink tents, the well is ink tents. This is not ink tents. Leaves are ink tents. The lights in the lanterns is ink tents. Then I went and shaded all of that with Black Widow pencils. There's Pentel Dual Hybrid on the kind of chains for the lanterns on the wheel here. Um, then I use for the background Stedler Norris watercolour pencils. They kind of give a really nice, it's a really gentle colour um, that they produce and I really like them to use them. I got the inspiration from the background from Elm Colours' picture of this off Instagram. Um, in ter not this not the same colours, but in terms of how where she placed things and how we how the colour extended, and then her I think she definitely put some dots in as well, and that's that's the inspiration I drew from that picture. Um, the dots are with um, Pentel Dual Hybrid and Posca pen, and fine liner as well. Um, yeah, I, do, I, I it's one of my favourite pages for the month, and the the grass is. Uh, I think that's Stedler Norris as well. 
with a, maybe a bit of ink tensor in it too. Um, but I really, really enjoyed that. I was really happy with the light sources. Um, and the, the roof is actually graphite tint um, with Black Widows over the top. And that worked really, really well. I really like using the graphite tint for stonework, brickwork. Um, sometimes wood. They're pretty good for wood as well. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this page. I like my little bluebirds. Um, I had good fun. And I think it demonstrated to me that you don't necessarily have to fill up a whole background and it actually can be contained so i need to experiment with that a little bit more and maybe you know make make the squares myself um so yeah i had fun with that page and it was a different process so really really enjoyed it and that was from eerie's romantic country um my next page is from Gnome Sweet Gnome by Teresa Goodridge. i was just craving alcohol markers for some reason and this is a really good book for alcohol markers and I did the mushroom page, which is this one. Um, I had really good fun with this. Um, I didn't want my mushroom. Whenever I see a mushroom, I always want to do them red, like toadstools. So I was determined that these mushrooms were not going to be red. Uh, I mean, it, it probably is sitting on a toadstool, to be fair. But I was determined the toadstools, mushrooms, were not going to be red. Um, so this was coloured with Arteza Everblend and Arteza Expert pencils over the top. Um, Pentel Dual Hybrid, so that's in the books, um, book spines and things like that, and the insides of the flowers, and Posca. So I went used a lot of Posca to go around the outside of the flowers, um, yeah, just outlining the flowers, outlining the mushrooms, and I did a bit of work on his little glasses, but I really, really like the way it turned out. Um, and the books and the you know the way I've done the like shadow inside the tree, so yeah, I had really good fun with that one. I really enjoyed it, and I love my little owl. The owl is so cute. Can you see the little owl? It's a little snowy owl. But yeah, one of my favourites again for the month that one, um, which was unexpected. So that was from Gnome Sweet Gnome by Teresa Goodrich. And my third body colour for the month. So I'm in a uh, group colouring uh, group for this book, A Big Adventure, um, with Geordie Colours and Colouring Bumblebee. Um, I can't remember who chose the page for this month, um, but I joined last month. And this page was chosen and I absolutely love it. Um, and this was coloured with... Oh, I haven't read it down. But it was it's been my usual be Arteza Everblend alcohol markers, Arteza Expert pencils. There's a little bit of Pentel Dual Hybrid on the Bumblebee, um, Posca to go around some of the white lines and the mushrooms. Um, and I got a lot of inspiration from Geordie. I have to say, um, Geordie colours for this. She did hers. She completed hers first. Um, I didn't copy, but there was definitely some inspiration drawn from hers. Um, and I will put Geordie's. And colouring bumblebees here for you to see. Thank you very much, ladies. Uh, which one are we doing next month? We're doing the Paris page next month. Uh, one with the Eiffel Tower. We're doing that one. So that'll be exciting. Um, so thanks, ladies, for letting me join your fabulous group. And that's uh, Matchstick Mouse, A Big Adventure colouring book. Then I did another one in Balls of Fluff. I was craving something from this book and I wanted to do cats. Um, and I found this wonderful page. I did this one. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Again, I drew a lot of inspiration from Elm Colours for this. She does a lot of watercolour in this book. And I love the way she kind of places her colours and things and, and the colours she chooses. So I did my cats first. I knew I wanted this one to resemble my cat. My cat's called Buttons. And he does actually have black buttons on his tummy like this. So... If that's my cat buttons i don't have tabbies i just have black and whites this one i saw as a tabby this one i saw as ginger and this one i saw as a white cat so they're all different um then so i did my cats first brute funa squares i used steadler norris watercolor pencils in the background again and again they were they were fabulous to use i had to do a couple of layers to build up the vibrancy but that was fine uh pentel dual hybrid for like the little circles uh, like here and then i used some windsor and newton so i spatted some white acrylic paint and then some windsor and newton uh ink gold ink 
I don't know if that's kind of picking that up, but yeah, spattered them in the background. But I really love that. It's kind of got an autumnal vibe, but kind of a nice springy vibe at the same time. So yeah, that was from Balls of Fluff by Diane Defoe. And the, there is um, a group colour along this month is this page. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. I think I highlighted that in my colouring plans video. So yeah, definitely going to be doing that one. So that's Balls of Fluff. So that needs to go back in my pile for this month. And my big adventure needs to go into, back into pile for this month too. And then my final page of the month is from A Million Little Monsters. And I reached out to Colouring K with K because I saw that she wanted to do this in her... Or she'd been looking at a couple of double pages in this book. So I reached out to her and said, I'll do a buddy colour with you. And I've been wanting to do one with her for ages. Um, so, yeah, mine is ooh, this page. I, I, think, I think, again, this is one of my favourite pages, two pages of the month. Um, I think just for the sheer amount of stuff I chucked at this and the vibrancy of the colours that I managed to achieve. Um, so I think that's why. Um, I chucked everything at this page. So the background is a Magic Fly iridescent acrylic paint. And it w acrylic paint is a nightmare to apply. And the first coat of it was so streaky. And I was just like, oh my God, I've made a massive mistake. And up close, it looks really streaky. But on camera, it looks very, very shiny. So I'm quite happy. Then I used Crayola Super Tips to do a lot of the basing of this. Um, then I went over it with Black Widows. Um, there is Arteza metallic watercolour paint on these things. Well, I think these towers look like ice gems. They're like little, little sweets with like a tiny circle biscuit base and then like a bit of icing on the top. But I thought they looked like those. So um, they're like yellow and pink. So that's why I went for like yellow and pink tops of the towers. Um, they've, each of them have got um, some metallic watercolour in. The, all of the clouds I saw these as clouds but some of them are trees so all of my trees clouds are pink with some stickles around the edge um, all of the ghosts are Arteza metallic watercolour some of them are iridescent green and some of them are iridescent pinky purple I think they're iridescent green on this page and iridescent pinky purple on this page um, and I think that's pretty much it. But it really felt as though I was chucking everything at this page. Um, there's Pentagel Hybrid on here. There's Secure Jelly Roll Glaze on here. But yeah, a lot of watercolour. Um, so yeah, I had really good fun. Um, I like the colours. I like the acrylic background, but I don't think I would do it on as busy a page as this one again. Um, and I'm going to insert... Kay's here and I think her green background is totally inspired and I just love 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 her page and I love her blimp I think that's what this is called a blimp I think her blimp looks really kind of um I don't know what the word steampunkish maybe that's what I'm the word the vibe I'm going for but I just love it so thank you so much Kay for doing that with me I I've always a bit kind of <gasps> about doing a double page but when I saw you wanted to do one I was like right this is the opportunity to do a double page. So thank you very much. And that is all my completed pages for September. Um, you've seen my plans for October. I have started. I will show you a sneak peek if I can find it. I don't know it very. So I started one in this fabulous whimsical Halloween book. And I'm already totally loving. That's just with alcohol markers. I haven't even done anything, no, any shading tempted to just leave it as it is because the grace girls just made it simple simple um but yes sneak peek okay so that is everything from me um for for my completed pages i will see you again in the month of october um we are in october already but you know what i mean um have a good coming months everybody and i'll see you all again soon bye <music>